It's now 4.21. So people will start to arrive around 4.45 start happening. And it'll be busy. Like, it's May in Ireland, so it's 6 degrees. So it's pretty warm for us. <laughs> it's all relative, I guess. Yeah, really excited. A little nervous, I'm honest too, but very excited. You know, I guess we've been planning this one for a little bit and kind of getting all ready. And we're expecting, we've had kind of ones where we've had 600 people, 700 people, and we expect um, over a thousand today, it's at least. So, such a big fun. I think for me it gives the greatest sense of affirmation, you know, the firms. There's enough other crazy people out there that are that want to just have these unique kind of experiences. Well, the glue that binds it together is Dave and Steve. They will be there if it's raining, they will be there if it's sun shining, like every day. We really feel like we have a sense of community and we're part of that community. It feels surreal like to just stand there and see, oh my god, there's a thousand people walking down to see the sunrise to swim together. It's that thing of when you're all together, you're going out into the sea, it's something really like natural and kind of, it really makes you feel alive in those moments when you come out as well, your body's all tingling, you just feel super energised. As a friend says, uh, like swimming in the sea, the cold water, it's like mainlining nature. You're just, poof, just like every sense in your body just explodes to life. The cold just frightens you, it's the present moment, your adrenaline is kicked, your cortisol is kicked, you're like, you come back on. Jeez, a beautiful day. I didn't realize that. Oh, well, look at the birds. I, I hear more, and you forget what you're worried about, and suddenly you're like, it's good to be alive. You know the way there's that sense of gratitude. Like it's not easy getting up at you know half past four in the morning, but you know you, you do it anyway. There's a great discipline in it. Like as many times you go, oh, I'd love to stay in bed, but you kind of turn up, and through turning up. You get rewarded with this feeling of joy and this feeling of, Jesus, oh, it's so good to be alive. And I think you realise so much of life, it's just turning off. I really believe in seeking discomfort, like going out of your comfort zone, doing something you don't normally do. And setting an alarm for 4.30 a.m. is horrible. Very, you know, very uncomfortable, but I did it. And I feel so glad. I mean, it's 7 a.m. and I feel like I've been up all morning and it's just brilliant. But so much, you know, the whole day ahead of me now. Great! <laughs> Every day started with the swim. It's just a great day. I mean, a lot of people have said that you go in one person and come out another, and that is very true. It kind of reminds you what true wealth is, because this is the stuff that really affirms life and makes you, it really connects you, it hits you in your heart or your soul or something where you're going, wow, this is really living. If I, if I had one week to live, I'd be doing this every day, and I'd be hanging, I'd be watching the sunrise, I'd be taking that time to have those chats with people, and I think it, it reaffirms what true meaning is in life.